Well, here she be. This is my 100% custom M4 that I have built. I'm super proud of it. Um, it is by far the highest quality thing I've built. Um, I'm loading up a magazine right now so I can do a little bit of a test for you a little bit later. So, it is a gas gun if you're, if you didn't, um, notice. Um, there are a couple issues I have with it and I'll go over them. But, for the most part, this is the best gun ever. Um, so let me go over some details here. This is a, uh, a BMS, what is it, battle, BMS stock, let me get it in the picture here, I guess, BMS stock, super awesome, super skeletonized, um, really solid, real steel. This, both upper and lower receivers, okay, let me, I'm, I'm too excited here, both upper and lower receivers are LaRue Tactical uh, Stealth Series. Um, receivers. That's the other side here. You can see the trademarks. And the uh, trademarks on the other side. Good focus. There we go. And as you, as you can see, the selector is not in place because um, the selector that Iron Airsoft makes <clears throat> doesn't fit in their own receivers. Makes no sense. It just floats around in there. Super wobbly. Doesn't engage with anything. Um, I'm sure it would work, but it, I, I just don't want it because it, it has very loose tolerances. It is a nice piece. Uh, if it would focus... Don't bother or mind my dirty hands. Very nice piece. It's really well machined, but um, it doesn't work. I mean, it does work, but it doesn't fit properly. This is uh, some rail segments that uh, I may or may not um, attach. As, it's, as you can see, it's a modular rail. I don't know what kind of rail system this is, but I got it off eBay. It's awesome. Um, this is how it attaches here. It has a special barrel nut. And uh, got some goop in there. This is a Noveski KX3 Sound Hog. The outer barrel is a 5KU outer barrel. It's a, a three inch segment and a, um, I think a four inch or five inch segment. So it, it's total, it's a seven inch barrel. And the inner barrel is actually, unfortunately, a, an angel, there's an angel customs uh, inner barrel. It's a, it's a 601 stainless steel inner barrel, uh, but I will change it out eventually to um, this barrel actually. Right here. I know this looks really short, but this is a really super high quality um, ender barrel by uh, I think PDI, PDI, I think. But it's really well, well, well done, well machined. That'll go in there eventually when I get the um, AEG hop up put in here. Right now it has a, a stock hop up, so it's kind of lacking in some areas. But it shoots um, above 400 and. Um, it has a, a steel or aluminum um, button or whatever you want to call it, and a steel magazine catch. It's iron airsoft, um, steel bolt catch and steel, uh, what's it called? Housing or whatever, also by iron airsoft. Steel body pins by iron airsoft. Steel um, uh, dust cover by iron airsoft. Iron airsoft steel forward assist um, this is this the buffer tube it's made by element it's a mil spec buffer tube this um, the uh, what is it called buffer stock plate I don't know what it is it is iron air soft and it's steel as well this is a Magpul MOE SL grip very slim and vertical the trigger group is all steel um, it's by who makes it? I don't know. I got off eBay or EB Airsoft. I can't remember the name of it. Um, this is an iron airsoft aluminum or CNC aluminum um, 
real steel length bolt carrier. Right now it has like a, a crappy old school uh, GMP nozzle in there, but it shoots great, so I'm going to keep it in there. Um, I'll open it up in a second to show you some more stuff. This is a Vortex Spark real steel red dot with a, a the corresponding kill flash. And what else do I got in here? The, currently what's in it is a... Um, a uh, GHK G5 magazine uh, runs great in here very very energy efficient but since it does not have a, a valve lock on it um, the bolt carrier cycles but with uh, minimal recoil but it is very gas efficient now if you use um, you know like a P mag or whatever which do work in this gun with a little bit of modification not to the the gun or the magazine but actually just what um, spring tension you have on the the magazine release um, is what matters to keep these magazines in here. Uh, we'll shoot it in a little bit. It's a very nice sound. Uh, CCT real steel anti rotation pins. Um, a butterfly charging handle. It's ambidextrous as you can see. Um, steel buffer castle nut. Um, the the barrel nut is also um, steel, but this is the lightest weight aluminum rail system I could find. It's 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 super light and super slim, as you can see. It's just like a little bit thicker than the upper receiver, very minimally. I had to modify a little bit right here to uh, be able to work with this. But um, and as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap right here. That's because um, with the the barrel extension I have in here, the star chamber. Um, by element, um, it, it wouldn't tighten down all the way. So it's a little bit, uh, I'm going to try to tighten it down a little bit more late, later, but for now it works and it's not that big of a annoyance, but, uh, just know that it, it probably will go. I just maybe didn't spend enough time on it. Um, let's get to the internals here. So some, uh, quick little modifications I did. Um, there's some plastic spacers right here because surprisingly enough there's a an extreme amount of play between these receivers and this is like a 300 plus dollar receiver set so it's a little bit ridiculous that the receivers don't fit together perfectly um, but they don't and it doesn't mean it's a piece of shit because it, it is not it's a really nice um, really nice set of receivers and it's a anodized aluminum and they're CNC machined rather than just like straight up like so really lightweight and really um really dense aluminum not like the low quality aluminum that you see like in the gmps and stuff but like if you have nothing connected to this lower receiver you can tap it and it sounds like a bell and uh the trigger pull is awesome i have uh what is it 100 150 percent gmp uh spring in there uh for the for the uh the hammer and the trigger I have a reinforced I think a 130% um, trigger spring in there and then I have some reinforced springs that I put in um, like the sear and stuff to make it really snappy like the reset is awesome listen to this way like really solid and positive and um, the trigger pull probably oh, it feels like about a no, like 10 10 pound trigger pull maybe a little bit more um, let's open it up. It does not shoot anything but semi-automatic without the selector, of course. And then I also I don't run the 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 hammer lock. And I'll show you some of the modifications I did to the internals. So, first of all, you'll probably notice an orange thing in there, and that's just an earplug. That's to create a little bit of um, tension or pressure. Right at this point, so like um, there's no wobble right here. Uh, so it's a stock trigger group, but I modified the hammer to be somewhat of a lightweight hammer, so it's quicker. Um, this is an iron airsoft. Um, needs to be worked in a little bit, definitely. Uh, an iron airsoft. Might need to actually uh, take that apart. This is an iron airsoft. Um, what, what, am, what am I, a bolt catch, yeah, 
and an iron airsoft, um, whatever you want to call it, that this little thing. Um, and if there, that's, that's what it is. A A B B. That's what part, kind of parts these are, and it's a process called metallurgy. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, it is a bearing hammer, as you can see, but these are steel, and it's a process that they they like superheat like powdered metal to make whatever shape they want, and it, and it seems to be a very strong metal. Like um, I'm very impressed. It took a lot a long time to uh, to file that and stuff because the metal was so so hard. Um, Anyway, so um, the springs in there are all reinforced, and uh, I got a real steel BCM um, buffer lock, and I'll show you what's running here buffer-wise, is my own buffers I make. And these are um, obviously steel, and they got some weight to them. But they're they're very durable, obviously, because it's a single piece. And this is a stock uh, GMP spring in there. And the buffer tube is an Element one piece aluminum buffer tube, and uh, it's it wor works great and uh, super solid, like uh, it's numbered and stuff. Um. Uh, what what else am I, am I missing? I think that that's it, but um, the gun has been very impress impressive. Uh, like just holding it is, ah oh man, I, I can't, I can't tell you how much I love this gun. Like just everything about it, it feels great. It's super lightweight, very well balanced. Like in your hand, like it's very, it's in, it's in the center. Like that's where all the weight is. Like, um. So it's very easy to, to point and shoot, like when you go to shoulder it, like to raise the gun up, like, oh, love this gun. Um, so I did make a video, as you know, or I, um, I made a video a little while ago about this gun when, when I first obtained like the receivers and, and you know, the, all the externals and stuff. And I, I mentioned that I was going to do a build, um, like a video with step-by-step -step instructions on, on how I did the build and stuff, but I ended up running into a lot of little problems while I was recording. Um, and in order to get the, the footage I needed, um, I would have had to re-record or rebuild everything and... I just, I don't like taking apart guns for no reason. Like, if it's together, I like to keep it together and don't take it apart until something breaks. Because the more you take something apart, unless it's like for maintenance and stuff and you're just like working with the body pins or whatever, the more you take something apart, uh, the more chance you're going to break something, the more chance, um, you know, you're going to wear your parts down in certain areas. And it's just, it's not worth it, you know? So, um... So next time I do another build, I'm gonna try to get it on on, on video. But the, the problem is like, the problem is I don't have a computer. And if I had a computer, I would do my editing, and I just edit those parts out, you know, depending on what it was and how long I had to cut or, or whatever. But it, I just I have a, a just a cell phone, what I'm recording on right now, and um, I just don't have any have any capabilities of, of editing. So once I get a, a laptop or something that's capable, I, I will attempt to, you know, remake some videos and stuff, but for now, like, this is what it's going to be. Um, let me show you the gun shooting. I'm not going to... Ah, man, I guess, I guess I have to... Um, okay, so here we go. Okay. So, we are going to aim the camera up. And this is my super messy garage. And you've probably seen it before. And some artwork I did as a child. This used to be in my dad's shop, actually. But um, I'm in my work clothes. So this is it. We're shooting with a GMP P mag. Hopefully, you can see this. Okay. And 
And once it runs out of BBs here, <laughs> I had a little bit of a jam here. Oh, it smashed it. Good. Broke the bit. Broke the BB uh, inside there. Must have been too cold. Let's see if you can see that. No, you can't. Uh, let's clear that real quick so I can finish this. It's a new hop-up rubber, so I'm assuming it probably just got uh, a little bit jammed up there. Split in half. Where is it? I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, a chunk of it's still in the bolt carrier. Man, I gotta get that out. <laughs> so, so the very first uh, run here. I'll show you something really cool about the bolt carrier too. Um, if we get this out, you can see it right there. Luckily, it did not damage the nozzle. I'm gonna have to get like a screwdriver or something here. Um, let's talk there. Oh, there's. There's another little fragment in there. Okay. Cool. Okay, let's uh, finish this magazine off. No gas, of course, because it vented out. So, um, sorry about the, this uh, little bit of inconvenience here. It, um... I did not mean for that to happen, of course. That sucks. Anyway. <laughs> this gun's having some problems. I gotta work some issues out. Granted. Um. Okay. Okay, so the bolt lock back. Let's uh, go ahead and show you the close up here. Recoil is not uh, crazy awesome because it's an aluminum bolt carrier, but if I were to throw a steel bolt carrier in here like this, the recoil would be crazy. Not Maybe not crazy, but... So let me show you something really quick about the bolt carrier, something that's really cool that I've never seen before. I just uh, realized this. So this is a, a real steel um, charging handle, so you cannot just remove it. If that makes sense, there's um, these little guides. So you have to kind of like pull it back to a certain point and then it'll lock in. And a good example of this is even if I leave it like this, it won't fall out. So, but this is this is an iron airsoft. This is the first few times I've run it, so there's like some you know goop on it. It's oil, um, so I'm going to clean it off, but check this out, right here, this is what I'm talking about, focus, right there, see that little screw, you can just replace that screw, and of course it's steel, this is an aluminum bolt carrier, but you can just replace that, and then you got yourself a new, um, a new face, to you know ride your bolt catch on so it doesn't it doesn't wear down you know so it's that's great um very very lightweight too like it's there's almost no weight to that um so if i if i were running an aluminum or a plastic buffer in there like this thing would you know scream and then you know the the gas efficiency would would go up dramatically um very good air air seal too um it, it feels, I mean, it's shooting pretty hot for what it is. But, uh, so that was, that was the gun. And, let me put this back together really quick. And, I hope you have enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed shooting it. Probably nowhere near as much because this gun's awesome and 
Um, give you one last look of it. Now that's all greasy. Yeah, like that. It's awesome. It's got a real nice sound to it. Really lightweight. Super high quality materials, real steel where, where it can be. And super high quality where it is not real steel. Yeah. That was the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.